Alright, well welcome back to the Shovel Knight streams, everybody. So we've now cleared the four main campaigns. At this point, there's a couple of different feigns we could do. And I actually am going to kind of see what Twitch chat wants me to do. Because I'm open to pretty much anything. So there are kind of four different options. We could do more challenge mode, which are the little, like, mini-missions. And try to clear as many of those as we can. We could start the New Game Plus stories. We could try to do speedruns. Because there's there are achievements for doing the speedrun stories, or we could start doing showdown, which I've actually never played before. I think that's where you like take each of the main characters and you can fight the other characters. I'm not sure if it's a full story mode or not, but so those are kind of our options. So we could do mini challenges, new game plus, speedrun, or whatever the showdown is. If people have a preference, then great. I'm happy to hear it. Otherwise, I think. If I think if it's up to me, I would probably choose challenge mode. Showdown sounds interesting. We have a vote for New Game Plus, another vote for Showdown. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't have any farming equipment, Mobius, but we can get down with Showdown. Alright, you know what? Alright, if nobody has any other suggestions, it looks like it's 2-1 to one Showdown, so let's try it out. Shovel Knight Showdown! We got Battle, Story, Unlockables. What are the unlockables? Oh, these are the feats. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming that Story... Oh, interesting. Story targets are practice? I'm assuming Story Mode is what we want. Press... Oh! Yeah, it is a character select. We could be Shovel Knight, Plague Knight, Spectre Knight, Key Knight. We can also play Shield Knight, the Black Knight, Propeller Knight, or Polar Knight?! What?! Okay, hang on, I gotta play as Polar Knight. What? This is crazy. I didn't realize you could do this. Uh, difficulty level, let's start with medium. Never done this before, so let's start with the medium. Oh, this looks like it is its own fame. All was not well at the Tower of Fate. A terrible truth had been revealed. <laughs> A freeze is on the way. <laughs> Spectre Knight stormed off, filled with rage at the Enchantress. Their final battle was imminent. Oh, so this is taking place during uh, Spectre of Torment, towards the end. The residents of the tower gathered. They boldly decided to rebel and help their friend. It's Missy, and the Dark Acolyte, and Red Skull, and the armor guy. Red Skull's such a nice man. Hastily, they hatched a plan to modify the magic mirror. Perhaps they could trap the Enchantress inside. This is... I did not know there was more story. With the preparations complete, the ramshackle contraptions sprang to life. I love the little pixel art for this game. It's so great. But something went terribly wrong. Are we gonna have to fight the magic mirror just like we did in Birth by Sleep? Yes, you said something went terribly wrong. Uh-oh. Look at all those characters. What's Mona doing in the mirror? She's not one of the Order of No Quarter. The shovel-wielding warrior was no longer ankle-deep in snow. But if Polar Knight were surprised, his face bore no indication. We get to play as this huge guy. I can't believe it. I have no idea how this guy is going to control. The Enchantress's powers were great indeed. Polar Knight simply readied himself for whatever test was before him. Okay. Oh, it's like a fight gauntlet. Battle number one against King Knight in the Coliseum Morningstar Arena. Oh, okay, treasure clash. Is this like Street Fighter? Collect six gems to win. Hey, no fair, buddy. Oh, this is so weird. Controlling Polar Knight. That's my gem. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh, he can respawn.
This is so bizarre. It feels like I have a bit of an unfair advantage against him. What is, what is this mode? Unlock! We won a stock match of three or more without losing a single stock. Cool, that was e Wow. That was kind of crazy. So Polar Knight is just Shovel Knight, but big and slower, pretty much. The village in the town center showdown against Shield Knight. This is going to be a weird one. Polar Knight looks a little worried. He's like, duh, I don't know. Am I fighting two of them? Yes, I am. What? So why are... There's no violence allowed in town. What the heck? This is so... What? They just stunlocked me. I literally can't do anything to them. They shield all of my attacks, and as soon as I'm not attacking, they just stunlock you. And even when I get a hit, they just counter me. What are you doing if the joust is going... What the... What the heck? This is medium mode? How was that medium mode? I couldn't get a single hit on them. What? How is this fair? Can I just leave? Because that's what I would like to do. Oh, interesting. So it's a screen scroll effect. Yeah, I... This... You literally... You can't attack them! They guard all of your attacks, and as soon as your attack wears off, they just stunlock you and kill you. Maybe I'll have to use bomb. Oh, one of them just died of their own accord. Alright, I just think I just have to be really cheap with the power-ups. Literally, I couldn't do anything. Okay, I won just because they voluntarily ran off a cliff. That was not skill on my part, that was literally just the AI was dumb. Well, all right. Poof, <laughs> figures you are here too. Old friend, you stand before me clear as day, but I was certain this Colosseum was a nightmare. Always a dreamer, huh? Maybe this is your wake-up call. How about I knock your head out of the clouds for old time's sake? A stranded ship. We get to reverse the fight in Shovel Knight's story. Why is there lava in the ice world? Uh, I don't like this. Yeah, I wasn't just gonna fly off a cliff. Oh, nice parry, shovel. Okay, is there a way for me to do the counterattack as well? I should have done the training mode before this. Okay. I just couldn't jump there. The gem ones are really easy, but the actual, like, you gotta fight the people, that's a lot harder. Wow. This is very strange. Okay, there's gotta be a way of, like, counter-attacking. Info. Oh, everyone is fairies fluttered a victim. What? Can I get the tutorial now? Or do I just have to push random buttons and hope that I counter? Collect seven gems. Why am I small? 
Oh, wow, no, we literally are just fairies. Okay, this is very, very, very strange. I'm not... I'm not really about this sudden gameplay change. I mean, I'll let them just beat each other up. Thanks for the apple. This is... This is... The weirdest part of Shovel Knight. Like, this is even weirder than Joustus and the Battletoads fight. What the heck? Yeah, I don't... I don't like this. This controls so weirdly. Why did I warp up to the top? How did I not kill him? No, that's my gem! You butt! Sudden death, me versus... So he's just gonna paint up at the top. Why are my attacks not doing anything? Why are my attacks not... Okay. And he just ran into the lava all by himself. Oh. I am very confused by Showdown. I have to say, not really a fan. I appreciate what they tried to do, but uh, this is weird. Oh no, I have to fight Percy! Percy's targets in the Coliseum. Destroy targets, avoid bombs, rack up a huge combo. Oh great. As, that's, that's what I do. Combo, yeah. Oh, I'm not fighting Percy. This is just me. Break the targets! That's basically what this is. That's a nice chain. This is a very... very weird. Hi, Percy! Oh, Boulder Dash, Percy escaped! He's very wide, yes. Oh no. The gooey targets. This is strange, but this is also more enjoyable than the, uh, fairy battle. Oh, no! I only have 30 seconds left. Gotta make the most of this. I have no idea if I have to get a certain amount in order to win, or if this is just a bonus game. Oh, I got enough points, I guess. Thank you, Percy. That was probably the most fun game thus far. Oh boy, Plague Knight. Let's hope this is something fun. And Pride Morky. Oh no. This is not Plague Knight. This is two Plague Knights and a Shield Knight. B 
Beedos rain from the sky take cover in Beedo Breach. Thanks, I hate it already. Collect seven gems to win. I hate Shield Knight. Shield Knight is the worst. Maybe they'll beat each other up. I don't think they're going to beat each other up. I wish you could drop below the platforms like in Smash Bros. That would make it a little easier. Hey! I don't understand how they can, like, absorb your attack and then just blast you away. Oh, when- how- how long have I been- I literally lost all of my health in about two seconds, and I could not do anything to escape it. How do I have the most gems? I died, apparently. They have infinite lives and I don't? Excuse me. This is a very... Okay, I... Mm. Yeah, alright. This is... Sure. Yeah, look at that. He just ate my attack like it was nothing. Wait, why did I not grab the gem? You can't grab the gem while you're staggering from damage, apparently. Uh, no, no, hi, Riley, thanks for joining in, and thank you for the kind words. I'm sorry, I'm not super able to read chat in the middle of this Super Smash Bros. style shovel my game, but thank you for joining in. No, that was my gem. I apparently have the most gems, somehow. Oh no, they're trying to take out my lives! I have to collect nine gems? How? Okay, I got seven! Barely escaped with my life. Oh, I had to get... I thought I, had, I thought it said get nine. Okay, there we go. Three continues left. And we're off to the Trample Grotto. Why is it always Shield Knight? Battle over gems with standard rules. Shield Knight and two Propeller Knights. I am not going to enjoy this. Why is Shield Knight constantly an enemy? This is the worst. I don't know why I'm glowing rainbow, but I am. That's happening now. Oh, I knocked two of them out. Now it's just one propeller knight. Okay, this may this makes it a lot more manageable. Okay, well, that one was actually very simple. I thought for sure that one was going to be terrible, but thankfully it wasn't. <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot of people I have to go up against. Uh, face the whole order of no quarter in one What? 
You're joking, right? No, I am not ready for this. Oh yeah, 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 it's totally fine if we just give you, like, uh, an 8-on-1 battle, right? Th that should be fine. I think that's... And they can just counter and you can't. That's okay, right? Oh, look, they just shredded me to... That. They can just eat away at your HP. Tinker Knight better not go Tinker Tank mode. That would be too much. It's ridiculous. Oh boy, now I have to fight myself. This is ridiculous! And I hate how you can attack them and it's just like, nope, you took damage, not them. Give me that power, please. I lost because the deck is ridiculously stacked against you. And I'm guessing if I run out of continues, I literally have to do everything again. Moves list. Okay. Perry is... Why left bumper and right? What? Those don't do anything in normal gameplay, though. And it didn't even work. And also, I swear I hit those buttons, and it didn't do anything before I checked the move list. Was that supposed to be a power-up? Because I'm pretty sure that seemed like a downgrade. But it also gives you, like, no attack when you're smaller. So my, my parry doesn't actually damage them. This is so dumb! It is literally an 8-on-1. And they expect this to be fair? I am literally just going to be super cheap with the Shovel Pogo. Okay, he is invincible. I got an achievement even though I died. Yeah, that's about right.
And again, this is normal mode. Oh, now it's sunset. This is ridiculous. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Good, we got rid of Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight's- no we didn't? Now we got rid of Spectre Knight. That still hit me? Really? Okay, but the- okay, Shovel Pogo spam is the way to go. Yeah, Shovel Pogo is like the only way you can beat this. To just spam that endlessly and nothing else. Oh, Mole Knight is annoying, too. Okay, so him getting it turns me into a fairy. Well, I'll just hang out up here. How is King Knight still alive? Knight is also being a bit annoying. Well, we got unlimited time, so eventually we'll hit them. Yeah, anytime I try to do the normal shovel swipe, I always get hit. Okay. We still got free lives, and it's just King Knight, and he only has two health. I don't understand why you can't damage people while you have invincibility frames, but they can still damage you if you have invincibility. What? That's not what invincibility frames mean. Die! And I don't want to hear anybody complain that I was cheap during that fight, because it's literally an 8 versus 1, so you do whatever you have to do. Alright, now it's time for the final one. Probably the Enchantress, right? It's time your daydreams ended. Submit to the power of the Enchantress. Polar Knight, you know where being a blind follower gets you. It goes against everything we learned. Humph. <laughs> learned a lot since then. And you're standing between me and my way. Move. But... I said move! Oh, do we have to fight Shovel Knight instead? Well, I have, I have an extra life over him, so... Did not let me parry. Oh, he just ran into the lava, though. That's gonna be- okay, no, maybe that's the key. Maybe it's like, try to get them to just run into lava. Is that actually like a viable strategy? <laughs> no, that seems to be a viable strategy!
No, that's the way to do it. Wow, that was like one of the easiest rounds out of all of them, and that was the final one. Okay, cool. Please tell me there's not a, there's another round after this. Collect 15 gems to win. Let me guess, Enchantress. Oh no, the the Enchantress is final. Oh yuck. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, we are definitely gonna have to parry. Oh, that was a big bomb. What? Oh, great, and you can summon phantoms of the order. Oh, this is awful. What? The, how are you supposed to fight this? It's just attacks that cover half the screen while it's sucking in gems for itself. And, wow, it can have multiple... What? It can have multiple order members out at once with bombs and fireballs? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I already beat the final level. You can't have two at once. No! No, please not, Shield Knight. Yeah, this time's going a lot better, now that I know a little bit what to expect. No. It got it! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Okay, when all of that's at once, you can't do anything. What?! I was completely invincible! This is BS. I was completely invincible and it still blew me up. I had full health! That's so stupid! You can't do that! If I retry, do I have to do the whole thing again? New stage unlock, Bird or Bluff's Shifting Balcony. Tip, play wacky variations of this stage by setting game type to Chester's Choice. I don't want to ever do Chester's Choice. We also get the Flying Machine Sky Deck. Oh, what?! I have to do the whole thing- Nope, we're not doing Showdown. That's terrible. I do not like Showdown in the slightest. Nope, we're going to challenge mode. Let's do more challenges with Shovel Knight. Let's go Dagger Dash. Master the Propeller Dagger to reach the goal. Um. Hey, Propeller Dagger, how about, you know, actually working? Shovel my butter to shoes again. Oh no!
The challenges can be annoying, but they're at least kind of fair. I say kind of, though, because there are some challenges that are very annoying. I don't know how I missed that first jellyfish, but that was on me. Okay, no, I will probably not be doing showdown. I know that's technically more content, but no, no, I'm not doing any more showdown. Also, aren't you, isn't there supposed to be a button you can press to use Propeller Dagger instead of having to use Up and the uh, Shovel button? But see, that was, that was a fun challenge. I like using Propeller Dagger. Hooray! Extendo Retracto. Cleverly use the Phase Locket to help your... T oh, I like Phase Locket too! Oh, I see. Oh, shoot. I needed to use that to pogo off of. I was wondering why they had that rock in the wall. Oh no, we can do this. Too greedy. You gotta take you gotta take your time here. You're not on a time limit. It seems less like about using the phase lock and more about just timing your jumps. Except for this part. Where you actually do need to use the phase locket to extend your jump. I didn't think I touched the spike. I should have just phase locked it there. Okay, well that was that was just dumb. Let's try that again. get through that only using the phase lock at like one time, maybe two. Nice. Dragon Chase Race. Bounce on your dry dive drake pals to reach the goal. I don't know if they're my... Oh, it's it's the geckos. The flying geckos. Excuse me. This seems like fun. <gasps> that was weird. Why didn't it give me enough height to get up there? That was strange. Ouch. Shh! <laughs> 
That's actually exactly what it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is a party! Who said anything about fun?! Did I not? I guess I didn't pogo in time. I thought I did. Man, I gotta say, I remember the challenges being annoying, but after playing Showdown, these are incredibly fun. <sighs> By comparison. That was weird. I don't understand. I definitely pogoed on him long before I reached him. So why did it act like I didn't pogo? I also love how this is literally the only wizard fruit guy. Guess you gotta just do a really precise shovel. Swing. Oh, there's another fruit guy. Why did he just randomly appear at the top of the screen? No! You stupid dragon! This one seems a bit on the precise side. Specifically with those, like, oh, you gotta shovel the snow and land on it at the same time. Please tell me more are gonna spawn. Please. <sighs> How was I supposed to know that it was gonna run out? It just as easily could have done the same thing if I had gotten off. Okay, Shovel Knight just does not want to pogo immediately after shoveling the snow. It has been a while since we've controlled Shovel Knight in our defense. At least the background's pretty. Okay, get in front of him as soon as possible. There we go. That was a bit frustrating, but still more fun than Showdown. Hooray! Oh, we're about a quarter of the way there! Birder Herder. I don't like the sound of this. Collect the gold while avoiding those unpredictable birders. I don't like the sound of this at all. Oh, yuck! I have one health. Ew. Can I kill them? Can I kill the birders? 
Because if so, I would like to do that immediately. I can, but they have like 8,000 health each. I'm beginning to think you can't kill the birders. Even though they make the I took damage sound effect. Gosh, especially ones that have literally infinite health. There's three of them, too. Like, what the heck? Haven't I suffered enough? One side down. I would love to. That was my initial strategy until I learned they were unkillable. Hallelujah! Alright, let's turn out of there. Let's get out of Birder Club. Cog Bounce Chaos. Shovel your way through the gear onslaught. Now this sounds like a lot more fun. Oh yeah, why is it an auto-scroller? I did not sign on for Gear Auto Scroller. I signed on for Gear Bounce Mayhem. That was on me. Some things don't deserve an homage, though, Mobius. I made this as an homage to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on the Nintendo GameCube. I think it's a really underrated masterpiece that was at every target in existence. And you know, I just, I think it was a really good game, even though it was terrible. I designed this one to be an homage to everyone's favorite minigame in Majora's Mask, the Goron Race. I think it just had a really good implementation of Rubber Band AI. I don't have any relics. Not even a fishing pole. Wait, which one? Majora's Mask or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for the Nintendo GameCube? Depending on your answer, will change my opinion of you. Oh, there were spikes there! I didn't even see that. Oh, you missed... Oh, Mario Land 2. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't see that last message. I feel like this could have been a great one to have the face locket for. But then you could probably sequence break it, and they don't like backwards. Because they are uncultured. It? That is a really precise hop to get over those. I 
I don't really love this music, but I like it when we don't have to hear the first, like, ten seconds over and over again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! It looks like the background! Alright, you can't squeeze in between those gears. I think he'd be ri- uh, That looks like it's part of the background! That literally looks like it's part of the gear background behind the, bro the bricks. Even when I know it's there, I can barely see it. It doesn't help that I'm trying to read Twitch chat at the same time that I'm playing this complicated platforming challenge, so I probably shouldn't do that. Oh! Okay, there is a spike here. I and again, why is there an auto- there is literally no no reason, no reason for an auto scroller right now. They're just like, oh we need to hit an auto scroller to quota. If we don't have enough auto scrollers in this game, we won't get game of the year. Sadly, what gets awarded Game of the Year does not always have to do with how good the game is. <laughs> good night, Riley. Thanks for joining in. Sorry for the salt. But I don't believe in flattery, so, you know, if I think something is dog water, I'm gonna say it's dog water. Oh, my... Are you... See, that seems a little bit precise. Are you kidding me? You've got to pogo that perfectly. If you do it too... See, this is where the challenges get a little too precise for my liking. actually want us to ride the gear back in- uh, what? No part of me touched that spike. Arg! This this level's super annoying. And to think I was excited for it, because I thought it was actually gonna be good design. Instead, they throw an auto score in for no reason. And make all these really freaking precise jumps you gotta make. I'm just I, I'm just gonna take the damage there. I don't I don't care. I'm pretty sure they don't want you to do them like that, but uh, whatever. Oh great missiles. Here, you better come back. You son of a biscuit! 
the missile was always in the way. Also, how long is this level? The answer, it wouldn't be long if it wasn't an auto-scroller. Why should I have to move at the pace that you dictate? Why can't I go faster than what you want if I'm better than you are? I'm at least get be getting better at the first part now. always lines up so that it blocks the freaking gear. I knew we should have done something less stressful, like the, sh the speed run. Well, at least the music is good. So one thing I gotta check. Okay, you can pogo off. That's what we're gonna do. I did not, in fact, realize you could pogo off of those. I don't think I should have been pushed off, no. Yeah, this level's way... By the time you're literally getting the music to loop on this short challenge, you really have made the level too long. We are literally about to have the music loop. And this is not a terribly short music track, either. I swear that looks like the background! The spikes do not stand out. Which is bad, because, you know, stuff that can just instantly kill you if, so, if you so much as breathe on it should stand out a little bit. How many challenges? I'm gonna do as many as I can in the time limit. I was... I was pogoing. I literally held down. Oh my gosh, this challenge sucks. Not even any relics on this level, either. Phase Locket would be so useful on this level. Even if we could just use it, like, twice. Honestly, they really just should have removed the auto-scroller. Auto-scroller does nothing to enhance this level, and does everything to make it less fun. <laughs> I will not let this go. 
Auto scores are a bad game mechanic that has stayed around for way too long. And the worst part is you can even use auto scores in a way that's organic and kind of fun, but they never do. It's always just, hey, look, you didn't go fast, you were too slow, or you were too fast, so the screen crushes you. Fun. There! I don't want to see any more auto scores for the rest of this stream. Unarmed Ascent! Climb to the top without swinging the shovel. Okay. Oh, and we only have one health. Cool. Oh no, we don't even have one health. We have half a health. Keep going. Oh. Are you are you serious? Of course the gear ended up in the literal one spot I was. And those guys use Oh yeah, they are clove different. Alright, I'll give you that one. Gotta line that up with the gears. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Arfter! It's always in the one spot I stop! I don't like this. Give me some way of knowing where it's gonna end up. The concept of this is alright, it's just... It seems to force you to use a lot of trial and error. No trial and error! Well, trial and error can be fun! Depending on if that's, like, the aim of the game. Like, Cuphead, the game is supposed to be about trial and error, of figuring out what the boss pattern is, and then beating it. And kind of the same with, like, the Mega Man Robot Masters. That's... So if, if that's, like, the whole point of the game, I can find fun in that. But if you throw trial and error gameplay in where it doesn't really belong, that's where we're going to have some problems. And now it changed the tra trajectory it was in just to kill me. It was supposed to be above me at that part. I don't like that. Okay, some of this is a little too precise. By the time you're demanding, like, pixel-perfect precision, unless you're playing a game with, like, a ridiculously sophisticated and precise engine like Neo Linux, it's, it's asking for too much. Neo Linux, you can get away with that. Not in something like Shovel Knight. The 
Like, you've got to wait for the heavens to align perfectly. Okay, is there no rhyme or reason where those fireballs end up? Because I swear half the time they end up in the spot I'm in. The other half of the time they end up in the other spot that I'm in, because I change up my spots thinking it's going to be consistent. True. It's not always fun, but you can still get away with it a bit more easily. This is literally like, wait for exactly three cycles. How you're supposed to know that, I don't know, but... Look at th Every time I go in, the fireballs appear in a different spot! I literally leave markings for you in Crazy Christmas Crossing 2 to help you figure out where to set the stuff up. I don't know what else I could do to make that more manageable. Like, there is literally a marking in the ground to say, hey, dig here. Where do you want me to go here? Every single spot I've tried has always ended up with the fireballs hitting me. There's no marking for where the basher needs to go, but as soon as you get the digger in place, the basher just takes a couple of tries to figure out. I'm not that mean. Even in the final difficulty of the ranking. Oh, I don't even... Hello, <laughs> Silva. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we are having a very hard time with Shovel Knight today, because we're doing the challenge. Okay. Right here. Please be the end. Please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It only took 20 tries to get the right exact bright spot to avoid the fireballs, but there we go. Rematch with King Knight. Defeat the boss within the time limit. I can do the rematches. We have one health, but that's okay. It's, King Knight's pretty simple. I like how in this fight, Key Knight actually uses the heirlooms that you get as him in uh, King of Cards. He uses, like, the Scepter Dash, the Confetti. Okay, the rematches are actually fun. Because they force you to, like, just actually be good at the fights. Rematch of Spectre- Oh, no. This one is going to be hard. Because, as you all know, I heavily struggle against Spectre Knight. When he's in this form. I don't- He is, like, freaking impossible to hit in this form. And whenever you think he's going to respawn on a certain side, he always spawns on the other one. Like, I, don't, I don't know how people can do this fight consistently. He's so annoying. He always hovers out of your, dist out of your reach.
I also have to worry about a time limit now. I sliced him in the head like five times when he was at that low HP, and it didn't kill him. I love the order fights, not the Spectre Knight one. It really just, it feels like no matter what you do, he just always evades you and always hits you. Like he can just read your mind. Stop teleporting to the opposite end of the arena! How did I get hit? I literally pogoed him when there was no sight there. <sighs> Spectre Knight, you are the worst. He's the second boss! Okay, my pogo literally went through him. Look, teleports away again. Oh, look, I got hit for no reason again. There we go, die! Again. Because he was already dead, am I right? <laughs> oh man, I hate Spectre Knight. <sighs> Alright. Well, he's dead. We can now rematch Plague Knight. Who's also irritating, but less so, believe it or not. Yes, I find Plague Knight to be less irritating than Spectre Knight. And not just because he has the best boss music in the whole game. Let's try that again. I should start trying to knock his bombs back at him. It's also interesting how he uses the vats as, like, actual attacks, or as in Plague of Shadows, you mainly use them as platforms. Wait for the first lemming in the upper right hatch to turn around. When he gets to the center of that icicle buried in the ground, you can dig. Then it's just a matter of bashing with the guy on the right at the right time. Which it might take a couple of, like, rewinds, but it shouldn't be too hard. Ouch. All 
right, this fight is hectic, but fair. No, bash on the right. I think you'll find it lines up very nicely. Okay, why can't I re- why can't I knock his bombs back at him? Shovel Knight did that to me when I controlled Plague Knight, so why can't I do it? This does still be, seem to be a situation where he seems to be able to mind read exactly what I'm about to do and counter it. I don't know how he does that, but... Wait, I died? I thought I still had like two health left. got to, like, get him cornered and see if we can just keep hitting him into the wall. Except then he can just teleport away. Thanks for using the phase locket, bud. I really appreciate it. This is why I want phase locket to just be mapped to a button instead of having to say up and attack. I think he must have blown himself up with his vats a lot, because he just got a plummet in HP, but thank goodness. Rematch against Treasure Knight. Okay, hopefully this one won't be too bad. Treasure Knight's pretty simple. I thought I had more than a half a health left. I wish I knew how I shoveled that fast. That was nice, though. Rematch against Mole Knight. Okay, okay, go on. It's Mole Knight. Only two health this time. Why? Let's, let's try that again. Oh wait, I have the I have the dynamo armor. Let's see if I can pull it off.
Oh, I ran out of time. Oh my gosh. They are not kidding around here. You gotta be real fast. Ow, okay, wow. You have, like, no health and no time for this. 30 seconds and the time starts to counting down before you actually can fight. Alright. Sure. Oh, you butt! You threw the spark right in my face. Ouch. Wow, okay, so... He's not hard when it comes to avoiding damage, it's just hard because you are on such a strict time crunch with no relics to help you. And we can't even use the Dynamo Mail to knock the dirt out of him. Okay, how are you supposed to do this in less than 30 seconds? When he spends half the time underground? Okay, let's try a new strategy. So we can still only pogo him once going through these walls. But I think I'm going to pogo him here, try to avoid his sparks. And yeah! Ouch. Okay, that's the way to do it. Ooh, that's also good. Oh, what? He appeared over here now? For no reason other than to catch me off guard? I don't... Uh, what? He appeared literally in the same spot like ten times in a row, but then he decided to- what? Nope. I already lost that- you- I think you have to play literally perfect for this fight. I think if you make even the smallest mistake, you're just done. Why did it not- the first time, it let me get the dynamo charge. There we go. Doggone you! No! No! I had to hit that last stupid fireball, but it wouldn't let me. I literally- I literally think you have to play absolutely perfectly. I think if you make even the one small mistake, you have to reset the whole fight. Okay, we gotta hit every fireball back at him. We didn't hit every fireball back at him, so we are screwed. Like, this is actually insane. He is an easy boss, but with all of the restrictions they put on you, he goes, like, to be borderline impossible. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I missed with that. Yes! Die! Die, you stupid mole. Boo! Get him out of here. Wow, that fight sucked. I normally like Mole Knight. Not that time. Tinker Knight, eh? Oh, with the alchemy coin. Okay. Get out of here. I sure hope we have enough time for Tinker Tank. Because the timer still counts down even for the really, really long intro. Tinker Tank is really easy. <laughs> First try. Propeller Knight. Okay, I don't like Propeller Knight. But, oh, but it gives us the throwing anchor and five health. But only about 30 seconds. I had enough HP left that he should not have been able to kill me. I had a full dot, and he only should have dealt a half a dot. Throw your stupid rose. Oh, I had literally half a dot left. Woo. Oh, and then we... Okay. We'll do Polar Night, and then we'll have to call it a stream. Ouch. This one's gonna be tricky. <laughs> we got a funny boy here. Get dunked on! Polar Knight does not like fire. Wow, there are way more challenges than I thought there were, so we still have to rematch Black Knight, Reese, the Baz, Mr. Hat, Phantom Striker, the Big Creep, the Enchantress, the Remnant of Fate. Oh my gosh! We have to rematch the Battle Toads. With a time limit. That? At least they break it up. Yeah, I'm not doing that tonight. <laughs> well, first stream back. I was hoping it would be a, just a fun one, but 
Wow, that got... Got a bit more ragey than I was expecting. My apologies. So, we're going we're gonna to call it a night there. Thank you for watching, everybody. So, we will be continuing this on Wednesday. We will finish up the Shovel Knight challenges and probably move on to the Plague Knight ones. Or, if people want to change of pace, we can do either Speedrun or New Game Plus for Shovel Knight's campaign. I am fine with both. I'm not going back to Showdown. That... Nope, not doing that. That was not fun in the slightest, so... That was a long drink of water. Thanks for joining in, everybody. It was great talking with you all, and it's great to be back, so... Hope you guys tune in for Wednesday. Regardless, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless everyone.